What is up, everybody? Chris Hendrickson here with another episode of Hendrickson News. And today I am going to talk about a very uh, important topic near and dear to my heart, and that is giving to charity. I work for a nonprofit myself. Um, giving back to the community is something that is very important in my family. My sister does work with kids giving back. Uh, my father was in the military uh, serving you know, the country. And then uh, my grandfather was actually a postal delivery person. So uh, my, also my other grandfather was in the military as well. So we've got a deep-rooted history of giving back to our community and my family. And it is wonderful that this organization, Give Well, puts together uh, top charities. And I'm going to read it through right here. So our top charities are evidence-backed, thoroughly vetted, underfunded organizations. We recommend charities according to how much good additional donations can do. All right, so they have right here a recommendation to donors. We recommend that donors give to give well for making grants to top charities at our discretion so that we can put the funds towards the highest priority needs of our top charities. For donors who prefer giving directly to our top charities, we believe that all of our top charities are outstanding and will use additional funding effectively. So if you want give well to make the donation for yourself, you can go ahead and do that, give it right to them. Or if you wanna pick your own like I do, um, you can go through the list and uh, hopefully you'll donate to a few of them on here. So coming in at the top, we've got the Malaria Consortium. All right, so it says right here, uh, treatment, uh, treatment to prevent malaria in children in Sub-Saharan Africa. And this is for the Seasonal Malaria Chemo Prevention Program only. It says right here, malaria is one of the leading killers of children in Africa. Season malarial, uh, season malaria chemo prevention programs sustainably or substantially reduce cases of malaria. So you can go on, um, I'm going to put this list of top charities in the description so you can go read more about them. I'm just going to give a brief overview uh, depending on uh, whether or not I decide to go in this uh, a little bit more in depth, I may have a video up for you soon. Uh, next up, this is a charity that I really love to support. Um, I just believe that they're doing incredible work and it's really wonderful to get their annual reports each year. And that is uh, Evidence Action's Deworm the World initiative. Deworming, uh, supporting deworming programs in low-income countries. The Deworm the World initiative supports government-run deworming programs. It has a strong track record of starting and scaling up deworming programs. And this is really fantastic. I'm going to do a whole separate video on why I support Evidence Action's Deworm the World initiative, and I can go into the details. But moving on, uh, I want to talk about the Helen Keller International. And this is a vitamin A supplementation program only uh, that they recommend. Uh, vitamin supplementation to prevent child mortality in sub-Saharan Africa. Helen Keller International supports government-run vitamin A supplementation VAS programs. There is strong evidence that VAS uh, programs reduce child mortality. You know, who doesn't want to reduce child mortality? So if that's your thing, definitely recommending uh, donating a few dollars over to the Helen Keller International. Next up, we've got the Against Malaria Foundation. And Against Malaria, you know, you'll see a lot of repeats on here. Uh, the Malaria Consortium, they are trying to reduce malaria in countries using uh, chemo prevention. But the Against Malaria Foundation, they use um, insecticide uh, treated bed nets to prevent malaria in sub-Saharan Africa. Because when you're sleeping out there, you know, mosquitoes, they're up at night. And if you don't have anything protecting you while you're out, you're at risk of getting malaria. So what the Against Malaria Foundation does is provide those uh, insecticide-treated nets. And like they say right here, malaria is one of the leading killers of children in Africa. Insecticide-treated nets prevent malaria and are inexpensive, about $5 per net. So instead of going to, you know, your favorite coffee place and getting a cup of coffee or something, you can pitch that $5 to the Against Malaria Foundation and help save someone's life. Um, you know, much, much uh, kinder use of money, in my opinion. But if you want to treat yourself to a coffee, don't feel bad about it. Go get that coffee. All right, next up, we've got the Schistosomiasis Control Initiative. And it's a bit of a tricky one to pronounce. I actually had to look it up myself to figure out how to pronounce it. Schizosomiasis. Uh, it's supporting deworming programs in low-income countries. The Schizosomiasis Control Initiative supports government-run deworming programs. It's a strong record of starting and scaling up deworming programs. Sounds like they just uh, copy and pasted the exact text 
from uh, the Deworm the World initiative. So, uh, you know, labor saving, but another organization doing that deworming work in uh, low income countries. Next up, we've got another deworming program, which is Site Savers. Uh, so, supporting deworming programs in low income countries. Site Savers uh, supports government neglected tropical disease programs, including deworming. Uh, next up, we've got End Fund. This is also a deworming program. Uh, and you can just see, like, these top charities that are doing this deworming, it is tremendously cost effective. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to go more in depth on the uh, Deworm the World initiative, but roughly for a $20 donation, you can deworm, like, um, I think it's like 50 cents per deworming intervention. So you can deworm, like, 40 kids for 20 bucks. Uh, so it's an incredibly effective. And when you deworm these kids, uh, you're, they're able to have higher quality life outcomes. They can go to school more easily instead of being sick and having to miss school, which results in the potential for higher pay uh, later on. But I'm going to save all the cool details for another video and then finish it off with Give Directly, uh, distributing cash to very poor individuals in Kenya and Uganda. So directly transferring money to poor individuals allows them to purchase purchase that which they believe will help them most. Strong evidence indicates that cash transfers lead recipients to spend more on their basic needs. And this is really similar to something you may have heard of called microloans, uh, where instead of you know loaning out thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars, you loan out you know, 10, $100, $500, and your money goes a lot further in another country because of the currency difference. And uh, distributing cash to very poor individuals in these countries can really help increase their quality of life. So really excited to see Give Direct on the list of top charities. GiveWell also goes into standout organizations, uh, which are organizations that support programs that may be extremely cost-effective and are as evidence-backed. Uh, we do not feel as confident in the impact of these organizations as we do our top charities. However, we have reviewed their work and feel these groups stand out from the vast majority of organizations we have considered in terms of the evidence base for, their pro for the program they support, their transparency, their potential cost-effectiveness. Uh, we have published reviews of all these organizations. So if you want to check them out, the link is in the description. These are the top charities uh, this year from GiveWell. If you donate to any of these charities, please comment and let me know, you know why you donate, uh, how you feel when you donate. Um, I'd love to hear your point of view and uh, be on the lookout for my video uh, coming very soon about why I support Evidence Action's Deworm the World initiative. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like, follow, subscribe. You know what to do on the social media channels. And thank you to everyone who has followed me and subscribed so far. You really, I really, really appreciate it. So I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. And uh, please stay tuned for more awesome videos from Hendrickson News.